G'day, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. It is the Pedal Picassos. I'm Rod. This is more on Moskai Audio amp in box pedals. Takes on Sans Amp Tech 21 uh, circuits. I'm putting the classic M Shell Marshall next to the classic AC 30, AC 30. So a Marshall uh, and an AC 30 in a box. I've done the AC 30 by itself and I've shot that out with the, the Joyo variant as well. Um, AB'd them. And I'm just going to put these to side by side just to show you the, the subtle nuance difference in EQs on both. Um, the, the, the Marshall. Paired with a Strat. Um, Strat with noiseless pickups going straight into GarageBand. Flat, dull, clean, lifeless. Right, pumps a Moscow Audio Classic M shell into it. That's a ripper, rip snorting rock, rock tone as far as I'm concerned. Happy with that. I, I really like the, the AC30 tone as well. Not quite that, that mid-range hump, but I'm sure you can get there. I'd have to bust into that every time. And a little more mids and highs, and you got... Both good rock tones. I've tried cleaning them both up. They're not. That's not what they're for. Um, but if you wanted to put your drive pedals in front of it, yeah, you'd back off the drive a bit. And if you're cascading them, so you've got that sound of an amp falling down the stairs on fire, basically. Borderline out of control, right? You get lots of noise, right? Regardless, regardless, regardless of if you have noiseless pickups or not. When you've got that level of gain cascading into itself, you need a noise gate. But it's good to be able to punch them into each other. I really like that. I mean, they're $50 each, okay? Um, and I'm not going into the ethics again. I've, I've said that before in other videos. Um, but they're very usable. I mean, if it makes you want to play, it's it's a good tone, and you can get good tones out of these both. I said before, the voice is is the biggest part of these pedals on the sound, the shape. And if you had all three, well, that's the Fender, the Vox, and the Marshall um, on a board with some other gain pedals and some delays, you're, you're set for pretty much all the tones you might need on a gig, on a night, if you're doing covers or, you know, even if you're using these to shape for your songwriting and originals and in a band setting or whatever. Are they useful tools? I think so. 
I do. Um, because they give you the sound of an amp and a cabinet. And you don't have to take your amp and your cabinet out to a gig if you don't wish. And you don't have to spend $2,000 or $3,000 or $5,000 or $1,000 if you don't wish. We live in the future and we have so much choice. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll see you next time.